create a program this program is about uh, displaying okay displaying the array so we create first what we call this the function for the array okay to be displayed and at the same time we need to print the arrays and it's what length okay so let us start uh if you were not able to uh check my previous tutorial you can watch that no in my c plus plus seeds as a playlist tutorial so let us start so we have here okay include okay we have io stream okay now let us declare here okay sorry declare here the uh, function to return okay the number the arrays and its length okay now we have here the header and of course we will use what using namespace std this stands for standards okay let us correct the spelling namespace okay after that what will happen now let us start with our program let's say void okay void the purpose of void is to create a function that will change the value or display the value okay so we start with the void and we name it as print array okay so let us declare our variable right here so we have to declare the two parameters right here param1 and param2 the purpose of param1 is to uh, represent any data in this function to be returned in the main program okay so let us create that so here we need to use the arrays and its length so therefore okay wrong spelling so therefore we need to uh in check here the array variable let us say int and then we have here args okay or we can use args okay this will be the variable and we have here the length okay or we can use size of array okay now we need now to okay start the program this is the code for the the the, 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 the uh, function that will display the array let us loop it int let's say x equals to zero x less than well we have to use here okay size of array and then plus plus x it doesn't matter if you put it here okay it's the same after that what will happen let us print the value of the array count okay so we need to get this argument at the same time count the numbers of size of array using this x so we can say arg x and then we have here well we will use what x and then we put the single quotation and then we print the value of what we can use the count oops this is the count okay we will need to print the slash n okay so we have here the first declaration of our uh, function that will print the value of the arrays and of course the size of the array using this parameter the arguments and of course we have here the size of array all right so what's next let us declare the main program main and then okay so this main program will dictate of course uh no no this program will uh, declare the variables for the array okay not dictate okay int let's say array one all right so we have here 10 20 okay uh 101 okay next we declare another variable array two okay let's say zero 10 um two four five so we have here oh, sorry so we have here the two arrays and it has its own elements so for the array one we have one two three four for the array two we have one two three four five okay now let us use this function to print the numbers of arrays at the same time we need to use the two parameters for the 
array and for the size of the array okay how to do that so we will just use this codes at the top here and then we need to what print array and then let's say array one then like for example what is the length of the array that you want to print let's say three okay so this argument is just like the representation of your array at the top so we look okay the value of x to the size of array at the same time we return the value of what the array using rgs of the counter of x so it will what represent it will uh, go right here okay it will represent the value of array one rather and of course the array one stands for the rgx and three that is the length okay so we read first the value of the array we look it at the same time we print of course the value of the counter inside the array okay can you get the point okay let us continue print array and then array two and then three let's say four okay so this will display 10 20 100 this will, this will display 0 10 to 10 okay let us uh, end the program and then of course we end the main program now let us run the program okay so we have here the program let us wait for a while so we have here uh the following errors okay what's the error here well of course we have here count okay this is wrong that's wrong grammar so we need to reverse this thing okay in java we are using this but in c plus plus well of course you need to put it at the end of your variable okay now let us do it again and of course at the bottom we have yes the same error so we let's check this thing again here and then okay we let's run the program <clears throat> Let us wait. We have another arrow. Okay. Let us expand this. Okay. Empty character constant. So we need really to uh, put space right here. Okay. When we run the program again. Okay. That's it. <clears throat> so we have the output here. Now, as you can see, why it is, uh, why, is it, why is it that for output at the top is 10, 20, 100? Because, okay, in our um, function, the parameters are the following. We have here the array. And we have here the size of the array so this is the size of the array that we want to display so we we declared two variable right here array one and array two and they have what for the array one we have four elements and for the array two we have five elements so in array one we return the value of three so three is just like okay you print the value of whatever you read in that array so the first value would be 10 20 and 100 okay so we have here the output 10 20 100 okay for the second array so we need to display 0 10 2 and 4 okay and you get the point okay so i hope that you enjoy watching in this uh, video and please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and uh, please uh, watch also my uh, previous uh, c++ tutorial thank you so much